All right. We're doing a take two. My battery died. So I'm coming at you at like 8.30 at night, which is really late for me because I've got babies and toddlers at home. But I'm coming at you with some breaking news-ish from Salesforce. So this is actually some really exciting news that I'm hopefully gonna bring to you tonight. It is 8.30 on October 16th, which is when this dropped. So this morning, Salesforce released all of their accredited professional exams and they opened it up to everyone on the Salesforce platform. Now let's back up a little bit and talk about what this means. Salesforce typically has had, and historically has had, two different types of exams. They have your regular Salesforce certified exams that everyone knows and loves and gets a lot. And then you've got accredited professional exams which have kind of had this shroud of mystery and only those who had partner status with Salesforce was able to take. So anyone who was employed by like consulting firms that were partners with Salesforce, anyone who worked with any government organizations that were also partners with Salesforce were able to take these. And personally, I felt like these were gatekeeped a lot from the rest of the Salesforce ecosystem. So essentially what this means is the Salesforce certifications that everyone has been able to take, we're now getting a bunch more just kind of overnight as but that were accredited professional exams previously, which is really great because there's some that have their partner or like their twin on the Salesforce certified, the Salesforce certification side, whereas the Salesforce professionals, some of them don't have like a partner on the Salesforce certification side. Let me break this down a little bit because that was a word soup. So one of the certification exams that a lot of professionals have said like, hey, we would really love if we would have a process automation certification exam that would help us show that we have knowledge in process automation. So things like flows and other like lead automation tools, case automation tools, those kinds of things. Salesforce professionals have been saying, hey, we would really love it if you would provide a certification for us to be able to show our knowledge because a lot of job descriptions, a lot of companies are looking for process automation, but there's no good way for us to show. As well as those companies who are looking for that, there's like no good way to show if someone has a level of knowledge in flows or process automations other than this accredited professional exam and certification that only a handful of people were able to take. But now we've kind of like doubled the amount of Salesforce certifications that we can take overnight, essentially. And so I am personally really excited about this to be able to open this up to providing more resources for you guys. If that's something that you would like, please let me know down in the description down below. Let me rattle off a few that I'm personally really excited about. So like I mentioned, I'm really excited for the process automation one. I'm reading off a list right now. Energy and Utilities Cloud accredited professional could be really interesting because especially if you're working in more of like a public services, public utilities type of scenario, like if you're working for a power company or if you're working for a city, that would be really interesting to be able to show like, hey, I have a specific knowledge in this one super duper niche thing within Salesforce. So that would be really interesting. Maybe I'll take that one. Um, you got financial services cloud. One thing is health cloud. I get a lot of people asking me about health cloud in my comments and like in my emails. And there's not a great way until now to be able to do it. So that's pretty exciting. Heroku, I'm pretty sure we have some on the certification end. Manufacturing cloud would be interesting. Net zero cloud is also going to be very interesting. I've looked into that one a little bit. Seems pretty cool to be able to go in and be able to say, hey, this is how we are helping the environment and we're meeting some goals as far as becoming more of a net zero company. I think in my master's program, I had to do a whole class on corporate responsibility. And a lot of it was focused on how do you help your company to do better when it comes to becoming net zero or becoming not extremely harmful to the environment, which I'm from Seattle. And so I'm kind of a tree hugger, but I really do love how we can mitigate some of the effects on our environment. So this one I might actually be digging into. Order management is also going to be an interesting one. There's two of them that are for order management, which previously we've had TPQ, which is an outrageously difficult certification. And then you've got billing specialist, which is not 
a certification, I believe, but it is a super badge. And so I'm curious to see if that will help to bridge the gap where we could really use a certification in that billing section. I'm wondering if that the order management will help in that regard and maybe help as a stepping stone on the way to getting the CPQ certification. Of course, process automation is going to be one. Public sector solutions would be really interesting. I know that a lot of consulting firms will do like federal services or state services. I know that my husband Jeremy has worked on a lot of public sector projects and using Salesforce to help them help their constituents. And so that would be super interesting to look for and see if that could help you, if that's something that you're interested in, if you're interested in helping the government in updating their processes. That's also a good one if you're wanting to go into consulting because not all consulting is for other companies, but I find that a lot it is public sector and helping different government organizations. And finally, it's going to be Revenue Cloud Consultant, which I'm wondering what the intersection there is going to be between like Sales Cloud and Service Cloud and other clouds within this also Revenue Cloud Consultant's accredited professional, I shouldn't say certification. But those are just a few of the ones that I saw that really stuck out to me as ones that I would be interested in. But I would love to hear down below if you have taken these, if you have found them helpful or useful, like if you're willing to share what the structure of it was, if it was like a choose one out of four, if it's structured similarly to like an admin certification, or like an associate certification, those are structured a little bit differently. So I would definitely be interested to hear your thoughts, your comments down below. Is this something that you would like to see Jeremy and I make courses on and to provide YouTube resources that are going to be free, of course, as well as some maybe paid resources on these different clouds, on these different AP certifications? You should be able to register now for them on your web assessor account and see what they cost. I'm not quite sure yet what they cost um, and what kinds of trailhead resources and other resources are on those available for you. But until next time, thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you guys in the next one.